this problem, for whatever reason, tends to confuse people. Um, and I think it has to do maybe with the wording or thinking about the less stable conformation as opposed to normally thinking about the more stable conformation. So what it's asking, it says, which of the mono-substituted cyclohexane derivatives below will have the highest percentage of molecules in the axial conformation? Well, this is asking not about the most stable conformation, but about the less stable axial. So it requires a little bit more thought. So let's draw a generic chair with a substituent. In this conformation, I put it axial. After the ring flip, it'll become equatorial. Right, now let's look at our three substituents as the potential X group. So we'll look at having the methyl group as X. We'll look at having the isopropyl group as X. And we'll look at having the tert-butyl group as X. So of these, we spent some time talking about the methyl and the methyl is the smallest of the three, but none of these want to be axial. All of these have the preferred conformation where the group is equatorial. But let's start with the methyl, and maybe for the methyl group, 95% of the molecules will be in equatorial form and 5% axial. And I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head. I could look them up. But what I want you to do is think about how you might think through this on an exam if you didn't have exact values. So we just know that most of the molecules would be equatorial. Maybe a few would be axial. But then as this group goes from methyl to isopropyl, the group gets bigger. So even though the methyl hates being axial, the isopropyl hates being axial even more. So now maybe the ratio changes to only 1% of the molecules in the axial conformation, 99% in the equatorial conformation. Then if you jump to the tert-butyl group, that becomes even larger, and the molecules hate even more to be axial. So now maybe we go to 0.1% axial, 99.9% equatorial. So now if we come back to our question and think about it, none of these have a high percentage in the axial conformation. But of the three, the methyl group would have the highest percentage of molecules in the axial conformation at a given time.